Вы как-то говорили, что из умирающих систем только мусульманство имеет еще право... You once mentioned that out of all dying systems only Muslim religion has the right to exist. So since communism is the backside of Islam, does that mean that the world will have to go through this on the one side communist and on the other side Islamic joy, lasting for three generations? Colleague, I would like to tell you right away that your statement the world will have to go through is incorrect. Please don't generalize. Some world will need to go through that, the other world won't. Some people will need to be present in the world that will be going through this joy, but other people won't. Remember, there is no such thing as the same common reality for everyone within the new paradigm, within the new operating system. As it was already mentioned in answer to the previous question, every system will attempt to lure as many bodies as possible into its netting, specifically bodies, so that they remain physically present within this paradigm, so they warm it up with their heat and invest their time into it. That is why they are trying to make it a mass system and prove that if even the government got derailed into this, that means that everybody will be forced to transition. If the whole religion transitioned, then everyone will will, meaning that they expect us to move with the egregors as we used to. No. Some will definitely have to go through this Islam slash communist system directly, in the most grotesque form, similar to what our ancestors had to go through hundred years ago on the territory of the Russian Empire. Some will have to face it indirectly, in some other similar but completely different form from the mass form. Because there will no longer be one common egregor for everyone with this paradigm. There will be egregors that you would choose for communication under the condition that you're capable of making them your instrument and not your master. Communism and Islam, separately from each other as well as combined together, are able to present themselves in many different shapes and forms. Yes. It will take tremendous mastery learning to recognize these forms and not to be deceived while understanding what stands behind them in reality. But this awaits us in the future. It will be a very interesting quest. Determine where you found yourself to be. Determine who is standing behind it and learn to navigate it. There will be tons of fun to be had. But this will only be fun and not a torture and a catastrophe if you know for sure which reality is actually yours, which reality you are creating for yourself and why one paradigm may be your instrument while another one could never be. This topic relates to the future. And many won't even see it during their current reincarnation. But it is starting to take shape exactly right now. At this moment, all of us together are witnessing its origins, how it occurs, how it is being created, being formed, and the way it is being programmed. And since we are present at its source, we are able to contribute our part to the recognition algorithms, algorithms of comprehension, algorithms of resistance, algorithms of defense, algorithms of using any player of the egregorial system as a conventional instrument. As once upon a time the egregors of the Abrahamic system disassembled ancient god worship cults into algorithms, that's exactly how we will dismantle into algorithms the present-day egregors, in order to work these algorithms into our own reality and to use them as we wish. Get rid of the idea that there will be one single reality for everyone, one single society, one single ideological paradigm for everybody, one single political and economical system for all. No. It will appear for you this way only if you agree to it and confirm your agreement thrice. And if you do that, you will become an algorithm, the same exact algorithm as any other system which will be taken apart and utilized by the more competent and knowledgeable people in any way it may suit them. If you now understand that your own reality has absolutely nothing to do either with Islam or communism, 
in any of its sanctions and manifestations, then you should right away start forming in your mind, fantasizing, thinking through, algorithmize the reality that you desire. And do it every single day. You should see it down to the tiny detail, experiencing the state of what I want with every cell of your body. Not what they want, but what I want. This pertains to the question that our colleague asked before about being caught by emotional reactions of someone else's ideas. Here it is exactly the same clue. Whose idea is being used to hook you? So for you personally, your own idea should hook you on like nothing else. Compared to that, any other hooks should all fade away and it won't be even a grip but rather a mosquito bite. Brush it off and keep on going. Because what is yours has so much more value, it is so much stronger, so much more powerful in its desire and the experience of belonging that everything next to it just fades away.